Now what we need these two, the baking powder and the baking soda. Ito ang tinatawag natin na chemical leavening agent. Because chemical sila, no? Now, what's the difference between the baking powder and the baking soda? Ang baking soda, ito yung puro, no? Ito yung tinatawag natin na sodium bicarbonate. Now, to have the baking powder, Ang baking powder, mixture ng soda, ng acid salt, at ng starch. Okay? Now, meron tayong baking powder na tatlong klase. We have the three types of baking powder. First, we have the single acting, then second, we have the double acting, then third, we have the fast acting baking powder. Now each kind of baking powder that we have contains a chemical. Okay? Now, pag sinabi natin single acting, meron siyang isang chemical that makes our product to rise pag nainitan sa loob ng oven. That's why we call it single acting baking powder. Pag sinabi mo naman double acting, Meron kang dalawang chemical added sa iyong baking powder. That's why, pag ikaw ay gumawa ng cakes, then ang ginamit mo ay double acting. Through mixing all of your ingredients together, nagre-react na siya. Nagkakaroon na siya ng mga bubbles. Because the baking powder and the baking soda since they were called chemical leavening agent, they produces carbon dioxide. Okay? <clears throat> Pagpo-produce sila ng carbon dioxide. In other words, air. No? Air. Kaya, pag ang gamit mo ay double acting baking powder, automatically, after finishing, mixing all the ingredients together, you have to bake it immediately. Or else, babagsak ang iyong cakes. Pag sinabi mo naman fast acting baking powder, this kind of baking powder is a combination of the single and the double. Pag sinabi mo combination, it means yung chemical na present sa single at isang chemical na present sa double pinagsama dito sa klase ng baking powder. Kaya, kung ang double acting baking powder mo mabilis mag-create ng carbon dioxide or air, mas doble ang reaction ng fast acting baking powder compared to the double acting baking powder. Okay? okay, when it comes to production of the cakes, never to use the fast-acting baking powder. Mababagsakan ka. Kailangan mabilis ang iyong cakes. Now, in regards to the classification of the ingredients, the baking powder acts as a baking, as a tenderizer and a moistener. Same with the soda or sodium bicarbonate. Now, what's the difference between the two? 
And when are you going to use it? Okay. Sa lahat ng klase ng cakes, except for merang, we use baking powder. Okay? Now, once you'll be making cakes that contains flavor, that contains acid, for example, you'll be making chocolate cake, and the flavor that you've added in the tiny cakes ay yung tinatawag natin cocoa, or chocolate, or cocoa. You don't need to add the baking powder in the recipe. So instead, you have to use baking soda. Why? Because the soda is the one responsible that control the acidity of the cocoa. Okay? So ito yung mga ingredients natin or flavor that contains acid, cocoa and banana. Okay? Kaya may mga recipe na, na chocolate, chocolate cake, that you can see Dalawa ang kanilang chemical living agent. Mayroong recipe na mayroong powder at may soda. Mayroong recipe na soda lang, walang powder. Okay? May mga tanong ba yung mga yan? Hindi na pang tanong si ma'am. O, pero walang tanong. Naintindihan niyo ba? Nasusundan niyo po. Tagalog na ako ha, baka di po tayo magkaintindihan. Thank you, Diana, ma'am po. Pag meron kayong tanong, you can ask, walang problema. Dapat magkaintindihan tayo kasi after discussing the function of ingredients, we will go to the types of cakes. Magkaka-connection yan. Hanggang at the end, we can create a recipe.